Maybe. where we can contact our friends anywhere on earth even if we don't know their actual physical location it will be possible in that age perhaps only 50 years from now for a man to conduct his business from Tahiti or Bali just as well as he could from London I am perfectly serious when I suggest that one day we may have brain surgeons in Edinburgh operating on patients in New Zealand. One of the great medical discoveries of the near future will be a method of suspended animation. In this way, us short-lived creatures will be able to travel enormous distances. Well, because it seems fairly certain that, at least at this moment in time, there are no other intelligent creatures in our own solar system. We'd have to go out to the stars to, to meet them. The first contact with intelligent extraterrestrials will be the greatest adventure in the future of man. It may not happen for centuries, but one day it will come. It will come. However, the most intelligent inhabitants of that future world won't be men or monkeys. They'll be machines, the remote descendants of today's computers. Now, the present-day electronic brains are complete morons, but this will not be true in another generation. They will start to think, and eventually they will completely outthink their makers. I suspect that organic or biological evolution has about come to its end and we are now at the beginning of inorganic or mechanical evolution which will be thousands of times swifter. Looking as far into the technological future as I dare, I'd like to describe the future as I dare. I'd like to describe the invention to end all inventions. I call it the replicator, and it's simply a duplicating machine. But it's a duplicating machine that can make an exact copy of anything. Can we imagine a world in which objects can be made as easily as today we can make books? The only thing we can be sure of about the future is that it will be absolutely fantastic.